just about to get underway now, ladies and gentlemen. If you look at the absolute scenes, the tunnels for both sides extending up past halfway. I mean, Mitch, the feeling in this one's about to turn up, isn't it? Yeah, we've just had the rendition of your, We're Blue because we're blue from the Cottesloe crowd. The ladies down there celebrating their grand final win from earlier this afternoon, clinching one at the death. And there's plenty of Palmyra supporters that have come out from under the palm trees this afternoon. And they're down here to support their beloved Palmyra club. Just waiting for the teams to make their ways from the shed now. Referee has come out into the middle. I wouldn't expect them to be far off. So certainly both crowds will be very, very vocal this afternoon. Tompkins Park down at Palmyra is always a great place to play rugby in front of the crowds. Very vocal. I love getting in players' heads. And of course, who doesn't love playing in front of a Cottesloe crowd down there at Harvey Field where all the, the chipping away from the top of the hill, <laughs> Vince, Vince Patrick and company throwing their quick-witted barbs at players. Uh, Nettie's being victors this afternoon in the reserve grade grand final. Holding on against Associates, 21 points to 13. There's a few Nettie's supporters are floating around the ground here this afternoon. Yeah, when was the last time you've seen that happen where both sides have already won a premiership on this field today in the last two games? Now they've got to battle it out for who is the top dog in Prem Zext. Yeah, it's great. It's been a great afternoon of rugby down here. Field three is now finished up. Still the West Scarborough Calamunda game just in the dying stages over there on field two. The far grandstand looks pretty full. The crowd completely encircling. Hartfield number one here this afternoon, home of the Calamunda Bulls. They put on a good performance as a club to host the grand finals out here. We hope you enjoy the coverage this afternoon for our FMG Premiership decider. Cottesloe going for three in a row. Skipper Tobias Hoskins, he'll be up and about this afternoon. Oh, he certainly knows his days are numbered as captain and running out for that Cottesloe side. He's, he wants to relish every single game he's got at the moment. It's going to be a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Him and Ryan Westaway want to make sure. But here comes Palmyra Let out, out into the mix. Let, Let out, out by Skipper late and short. Looking fierce through the tunnel. It's a tight tunnel. The entire team making their way through. Heaps of support out there. They're going to be on the far 22. By the time they exit their supporters' tunnel, that's what you love to see here at Community Rugby. They look switched on. All of them come out, head down. Now it's time for Cot to come through. The cheers start to build. The clap slowly builds as well. Let out by skipper Tobias Hoskins. Gets his crowd up and about at the front. And here come the two-time Premier's Cottesloe. They're coming to make history, to make it three in a row. And they've certainly got the supporter base around them, that's for sure. Now the crowd starts to pile off the field as we watch the last few come through this Cottesloe tunnel. And we're just about set for game time here, Mitch. Oh, wow. I reckon it'll take a few minutes just to clear this rabble off the field. Isn't it terrific seeing all the supporters come out to cheer their, their players on? Nothing better than a rugby tunnel. Referee this afternoon, Sam Jones, refereed Cottesloe last week against UWA. Mm -hmm. Assistant referees, Kyle Burnett and Tyler Miller. Couldn't ask for more experience on the sidelines. <laughs> players now taking their positions on the field. It will be Palmyra kicking left to right across your screens. And this breeze that has been around all day is pretty much absolutely nullified now if anything it's probably going to come right across the field away from the clubhouse so right down the halfway line very very slight breeze not going to favor either team it's been pretty good conditions out here this afternoon for rug good running rugby referee sam jones now just waiting for the final people to clear on the sideline get behind the rope so it will be Jack McGregor to get us underway. Part of the four system and an imposing number 10. Not to be confused with his opposite number 10 from Cottesloe, Jack McDermott. So we're going to get the Jacks right this afternoon. Sam Jones looks set and ready. Cottesloe give the tick of approval. <laughs> Whistle sounds and the Ford Askew 2021 grand final gets underway. Trick kick off to start. They'll go short left. Late and short jumps up. But our Haining in front. 
Not Al Haining in front. Jackson. Gregory Jackson instead. Straight to the pocket. McDermott goes long. Risa Napu. The force fly half. Scoops things up at the back and weighs up his options. Decides he's going to run. He's an imposing figure at nine. And he goes straight through the line. Risa Napu gets tackled back across the ten. Just settling things down now. They've got plenty out to the right through forward runners. But they're even going to take the pick and drive option. Slowly into this first half. They don't want to panic too early here. Nana here, Aid, and the PG Hampshire award winner wants to get involved early, but he's going to leave Reese Napu to do his job at half. Now that filter out to the right hand side. Tackles made release. Knee was on the ground. Cottesloe can't go for the turnover. Anapu cancels left, then fades it back onto the left hand side for Kennington, I believe. Just slowly up to the line. Anapu now skipping and going. Nice little run on the outside. Just outside the 22. A little bit of feeling behind, and there's one down for Palmyra. Could be some foul play back there. I'd like to see that back on replay if we have it. And Napu's been taken out early with a stamp. Slowly through the phases, up to about seven now. And Napu's in big trouble here, and they're lost without their halfback. The forwards just want to need to rumble through. Mahaki picks and drives. They've got penalty advantage here as well now. Starting to wind up. This Cottesloe defense strong around the fringes though. Kaiser Reedy blocks well. Still penalty advantage awkwardly out the back. They scoop it up though and go towards the line. Just needs someone to pass this out from half now. Cracking around the left. The vice captain Dilling Honeyham. Now Jack McGregor. Spains off to the left hand side. Coming back in a three free points from the 22 straight in front. And there's a start to a grand final. Yeah, Risa Napu set the tone early with a lovely little break there. Good change of pace. He's still carrying that tiny little injury there that he got knocked. One of those breakdowns. Cottesloe under pressure straight from the get-go at the breakdown. So Sam Jones is going to have a word to Tobias Hoskins that he will have none of that cynical stuff this afternoon. Certainly killing the ball off. Palmyra making Cottesloe make the tackles, enjoying the rumbling up. Adam Fulgrave also going down with a bit of a niggle. He's had a good, good year, the loose head prop for Cottesloe. The back row for Cottesloe, Peter Kimlin, Cohen Masson, Tobias Hoskins. Been very dominant all year as at their front row of Fulgrave, Reddy and Kai, up the Kaiser bottom, Reedy. Just gonna be clear about so Mahaki, Vatulala and Kennington for Palmyra, the front row, Devet and Sanders. Yep. Really good locks, they just toil away. Jackson Pugh. Tyron Law, Dylan Cunningham in the back row. They're going to have to work really hard this afternoon. Whereas I think the Palmyra backs with Risa Napu, Jack McGregor, Christopher Miller, who was a leading try scorer for the competition, has got some genuine jet shoes. Leighton Short, who's had a terrific season. Number 13, Trey Maloney. Marcus Arundel on the right wing in number 14. And, of course, the PG Hampshire winner, Menahera Eden, who's always a handful at the back. So pally has got all the firepower. they just got to get the possession and they'd love to get early points on the board. Yeah, Adam Fulgrave has just gone to the side of the field. He is under blood rule, so he's okay to come back on. That's a big out up front early if he has to take no further part in the game. Jack McGregor to take the lead, kicks this one really high over the upright. Oh, he's missed it. And the referee's flags do not move an inch. He's pushed it out oh, to the wow. right. Need to hit those crucial kicks. Yeah, early nerves for Jack McGregor. You've got to nail those easy kicks in this type of environment. Just kicked through it too much. It was yeah. a big kick for a short ranger. Just about put it on the tennis courts out on the back of the car park there. And they've got no idea the atmosphere over here at the moment, the tennis players. Certainly they'll hear all about it in the next few minutes. So the backs for Cottesloe this afternoon. Rory Edwards at nine, Jack McDermott, Tommy Fifita, Tovo and... I think Tyler Mao or Robin O'Sullivan on the wings. Dylan Cunningham receives a low awkward drop kick from the 22. Just crashes it back up. They'll find a little run through Law. It breaks through nicely. He's gaining a couple of meters and then eventually brought to ground. Hoskins tried to strip ball but unsuccessful. Anapu for McDermott. Back door to Eden who takes on the line stepping inside nicely. Slow play, referee's arm goes out, turnover. It was an awkward ruck. I'd like to see it again. Gets called for not releasing. It was a good little scoot here from Risa Napu and McGregor. Worked well with Eden. Everyone going well. Then Sandrilli goes to ground. Over the top, yeah, got all rights to the ball there. Just wasn't sure when they were going to get on it. And Peter Kilman's done well for his team. 
McDermott to clear now and kicks that one nicely into touch with not much angle to work with. So I'm just picking up out there this afternoon. Cohen Masson looks like he's in the number six jump up this afternoon. We've seen some late changes for Cottesloe. And we'll get to those changes in just a moment as to who's what, where. But it doesn't look like Peter Kimlin's out there this afternoon. No. That's where I was got a little bit confused there. Will be Andrew Reedy to throw in. So Tyler Mao, seven. Hoskins jumps up at seven firmly. Really nicely out by Edwards and McDermott, oh, but a big nice. hit. Late and short. No, not late and short. <laughs> Don't know what the five's doing out there, but we're going to get a penalty high tackle. Andrew Saunders just getting it wrong on the occasion of slipping it up. You just see there on the replay, yeah, it's just a little bit high through the whole point of contact there. Made the first jump to come under him, and that's why it slipped up, but we've got to keep him down there. Eh? Yeah, nothing in it. Yeah, he slipped on your mat. So Alec Von Taravo is in the number 14 jersey for Cot this afternoon, so he's on the left wing here. And the number seven, Tyler Moao, who's been playing pretty solid football in the last few weeks. Gone to seven and Cole Masson at six, so Peter Kimlin not in the lineup this afternoon by the looks of it. It's going to be a big loss. He's so played an important role in, in running the, the line out for Cottesloe in recent weeks. Cot with a line out, 30 from the line. There's a good kick. Hoskins up at five instead this time. They just get in front of the jump. It's a good read by Palmyra. They just change the position on them. Edwards holds things up for a second and eventually fires McDermott. They want to run little midfield. Penalty advantage offside as well. And now a give three. They can take the points and take the lead early here after a miss from Jack McGregor. Just wait for the option to be called. Just trying to find the mark. Burnett coaching Jones back across to where the offside occurred. Still very kickable here. Need to get points on the board early. Yeah, Hoskins points straight across and casually. Jack McDermott's got a very reliable boot. Without jinxing him too much, I'd back him in from this one, but I would have backed Jack McGregor from the other one as well. So. Yeah, he certainly filled the hole nicely, losing Caleb Young this year, but he still scored plenty of points in the Cottesloe jersey, McDermott, this year. Done very well for himself, leading this back line. We're only seven and a half minutes into the first half. We've seen plenty of action in the Fortescue Premier League Grand Final. To take the lead, McDermott, 15 in from touch, 30 out. Wind will push this one back towards the right upright. So just needs to start this one inside the left. Everything else will be taken care of. Clean strike of the ball. That one looks better. Flags oh, go up flags tentatively. <laughs> tentatively go up the flags. Burnett was sure. Miller wasn't. But they've so. taken the lead here. Cottesloe, three points to nil. And the, the fiery start as we go quickly off a short kickoff. It's a good one. McGregor looks pretty good. Yeah, goes bounces to 10. well inside. Bounces out for Sanders. Sanders carries it up towards the line. No half there. And even McGregor's going to have to fill in now. And Apu's playing one off at 10. Wants to get the quick recycle here. McGregor, ready to receive. Comes across after filling in. Where's he going to go? Short. Fires a long ball on the outside for Manahira. Eden couldn't get round the outside. It's a good tackle. A little bit of feeling in front of the benches there. Could get turned over. Slow to come out regardless. Anapu, yes, turned over. No, not a turnover. If the ball was there, must have been hands in. He's calling no, everything to, across it. Stay on your feet. Got not losing their feet of the ruck. It's just a look, took him a long time to give that penalty away, given the ball spat out. Certainly wasn't for hands in the ruck that he's given it. It's for not staying on your feet. I didn't get your number there. But have a look at Panash Kamara this afternoon. I think he's been playing some pretty solid football, the number 12 for Cottesloe. I get a feeling, though, Palmyra is going to really try and target that Gregory Jackson at number 13 in that 13 channel. They already seem to have gone there a couple of times already. Mm. Casually walking into the line here now. Gets picked at the back, not straight. Oh, early mistakes from Soeli Vatoa. Vice Hoskins, just a good little bit of niggle there. Nothing in there, just having a bit of fun. 
wouldn't be a, a cotton and Powley game without Niggle. <laughs> Henry Devet, he's not going to take a backward step. Dylan Cunningham, big big day for him, a skipper of this Pally team. Mm. Um, previous skipper, so it's just Leighton Shorts, the skipper this afternoon, but Dylan Cunningham certainly done his heavy lifting over the years. Pally number eight, good stalwart for the club. Yeah, speaking to him throughout the year on a couple of occasions, he's, he's aware his body's slowing and now the kids are on the way and everything. Crutch. Relish is playing though, doesn't want to step down. Bind. So the cot scrum should be pretty dominant this afternoon. The expectations in. Nice solid platform to play off here. Yeah, they tend to wait to use their shove for their against the feed efforts, but they've had to dig in this time to actually get their own ball back. They couldn't ha save their weapons till later. Hoskins has to pick from the back. It's a good clean out, rolling out nicely. A little bit of a false start. Referee keeps the hand in the pocket, not saying offside there. Edwards just fishing deep. Looks to box. No, he's going to go pocket. McDermott central and a few players coming across to field this one Eden likes what he sees decides to dummy and take it up through the forwards nothing on tackle there got a release Hoskins complies and a Napu flat ball Cunningham over halfway again They've had a bit more territory than Cottesloe McGregor does well to kick it through, but it didn't really get the angle he wanted and just sat up nicely at the back. A little slip of the feet. And McDermott. Yeah, gets advantage. Reedy, Kamara. Good oh, backdoor great flick. Ball at the Kaiser back. Reedy, oh, good Edwards ball. trying to keep it alive. McDermott goes off the boot. He's offside. Should have left it for his 10 to regather. They were still under advantage. Oh, I like the way Cott trying to get those little offloads going there. It was at Kamara. He hit the ball at speed. Yeah, Solid contact, and then Kaiser Reedy also getting a little flick pass away. He's no stranger to it. Edwards, if that one came to hand off Edwards, they were going to have a lot of space and time. So just some consecutive penalties there from Palmyra. <laughs> Their forward pack is going to have a lot of work to do this afternoon. I don't know what the conversation is about here. Oh, they're waiting on a ball. That's why. Yep. Again, just, just, just to... Just to Nice little bit of skill set there from Cottesloe. They do manage the referees really well on the field. Use every opportunity to just have a good understanding of what the man management skills the referee's got and what he's looking to achieve and try and comply as best they can and get as close to that line of right and wrong as they possibly can. Yeah, they tend to find what he's looking for and do something completely different. Find another loophole. 22 metres out, Cottesloe with another attacking line out. They set them all nicely on this occasion. There was one engaged from Palmyra. No, there wasn't, so they get it out the back. Kamara just takes it on himself. It was a bit of an awkward ball coming towards him, so just had to take it in. Edwards trying to find a runner. Hoskins on the outside. A little bit of contact out wider for short and ready. Edwards fires short side again. Good little spin manoeuvre, but no way through the hole. Zane Henrik. Hoskins tips off. Kaiser Reedy. Now we can fire some backline. McDermott tries to spot a gap around the outside. Goes himself nowhere through. They're on top of the ball here, Palmyra. Big chance, then lost. Yes, turnover. They've got a good turnover. No need to blow a penalty. It's just a good steal. Anapu digging slowly. McGregor in the pocket and clears nicely into touch. Is it going to make it over there? No. Still in play. They can pass it across if they want to. Is that Scott Nickel on the far yep. side? I think it is. Jackson. Gregory Jackson does well. It needs to stay in the field of play. No, Tyler Miller spots it on the far side. So could have done a lot more with that kick return, in my opinion, Cotters. Lots yeah. of space. Yeah, they could have moved it more to the midfield here where they had the Gregory Jackson and Tobias Hoskins out in the midfield, but kept it on the short side and bundled into touch. It was a nice kick from Jack McGregor. Mm. Put it up high into the... Let the breeze do the work. Line out now. Closing gap, surely. Palmyra have gone all the way across there and caught that on the outside shoulder. If that doesn't deny an opportunity at contest, I don't know what else would. It's going to be a maul, though, and it's going to probably get turned over because that ball might not be available. Kaiser it is. Reedy swimming through. Box kick from Anapu. Oh, it's well weighted. Jackson's got a big task. Leaves it and bounces into touch. It's probably a win for Palmyra. Leighton Short got something to say as well. Yeah, it's nice just putting that ball up high. Let the breeze just take it towards the sideline. 
Gregory Jackson there, just not confident to take it on the full, let it bounce. So we've got a full line out this time. Lots of jeers from the far side. Plenty of Pallia support right in front of this line out. Goes over the top of everyone. Might be caught as low at the back is. Edwards has to dig so far so early in this game. He's been oh, reaching in. That's a great hit. Penalty as well. Yeah. Forced him backwards over the line. Coming in from the side after. Just trying to secure what position they had. But does it illegally. Oh, yeah. Jackson Pugh letting him know about it too. Find him out. And then gave him a good Jahoo to go with it. I think McGregor's got to take the shot here again. And will. Certainly that's kicked it far enough on the first occasion from half the distance. And that's what Pally's so good at too. They really can get in your face and just let you know about it. It can rattle you at times. But the experience of Cottesloe, you just got to be careful you don't get too overexcited. And then it can sometimes bite you in the backside a bit later in the game, Jackson Pugh. So I'm sure Hello. Cohen Masson will yeah, put yeah. that one in the bank and remember that one later <laughs> for the game. So McGregor as this wind just picks up a little bit at the moment. Yeah, he's going to have to start this one just outside the right. 44 metres. Probably 17 in from touch. Just needs to kick through this one. To level the game up. 17 minutes in to the first half of this grand final. The wind hasn't done enough. It's died after he's kicked it. And that'll go dead. All right. So none from two for Jack McGretta. Touchy, touchy start for him. Has so much confidence about his abilities. Doesn't want to find himself out today. McDermott to get us back underway with a 22. Yeah, look for a good chase line here from Cottesloe. Looks to go long. Yeah, that's a solid dropout. Cunningham on the full. Oh, what a what pick. A pick up around what the a pick up from the big man. He's and got rid of steam into Jackson. <laughs> yeah, Jackson nowhere to be found there. Went in too high. Cops, his cops an elbow on the shoulder. Then Cunningham gets ball free. Anapu scoots through the line. Tobias Hoskins with a big tackle. There was five on three there. It was crucial at a crucial time. And then big Reedy over the top. Experience for Stableford. Gets the turnover at a timely moment. Yeah, Andrew, Andrew Reedy. Reedy. Andrew Reedy just getting himself in good position over the ball that time. Oh, what about the pickup from Dylan Cunningham right on the bootlaces? Goes straight into fifth gear there. That's yeah, the quickest yeah. he's moved in a while. We thought that was Jackson that copped it, but it was actually the winger, Tommy Fifitavo. And uh, just a conservative kick for touch for this time. Hmm. As they line, both line outs just a little bit nervy early on. Yeah. Settling into the... Both trying to go long, both defending long. I don't know why we can't just have one at the front. Quick up and down. See Palmar not even defending at the front here. Three man there. Easy uncontested line out. They'll form them all as well. And they might there's got to be a couple coming in from the side there from Palmar to force this one over to the sideline. Jones was looking firmly at the ball. And he just needs to get this one free now. Reedy eventually gets it back. Ready, sorry. And then Kamara takes on the line. And Napu gets shrugged off. But then one still holds on. Trying to strip that through the tackle. Unsuccessful. Now they spin it out on the right-hand side. A little K for Mass. Edwards. Hoskins. Captain's carry up towards the 22. McDermott shows, goes, beats him on the inside. Didn't have one to pop off to, so he has to take it to ground. Trying to find something on the short side. Nickel gives one off. Now they're just slowing down. They're 15 in from touch, 15 out from the line. Very squeezed into the forward pack here for Cottesloe. They've got to play this one through. Full grabe to ground. Cottesloe putting plenty of numbers in rucks, at the... Yeah, plenty the, of numbers going to that breakdown at the moment. Nickel, short side. He won't pass. Gets taken by Dill Cullingham. And managing to get the turnover. Nickel on Cunningham. No match. And then Nickel and Short get it on. They're having a little bit for the footy. Short just gave Nickel a little slap on the back of the head on the way up, and then they came back in to meet each other. Sorry. Nobody taking a backward step here this afternoon. So again, just a little bit of Nickel creeping in. Sam Jones is going to have to control things. Yeah, he'd be there. wise to slow this one down for a moment. I know we're in a crucial part of the field, but he's brought both captains out, and we'll have a chat. Yeah, and Palmyra really making Cotters like commit numbers to the breakdown at the moment. Mm. They're not getting clean, crisp ball that we've been used to. It's just how long can they sustain this sort of play. It was a great little tackle there. It was a little bit of a, a lift, but nothing in it. And then, obviously, Pally being able to get numbers over the ball on a regular basis. 
Sure. Yeah. Sure. So classic there as well. Jones had his yeah. good chat with both captains and then Hoskins Contact squeezes it. the lemon. I'll stay for a chat once Short's gone. <laughs> Jones needs to just get him back there on your way, to Tobias. It's a penalty against you. Thank you very much. Yeah. And already you're seeing that Collar's like just missing that expertise of Peter Kimlin in the line-out time. Yeah. And that's, that's a big level of just by not having that extra bit of height there and having to go with the three tearaways at the back. Tobias Hoskins is going to have to do a little bit more work at line-out time than what he's used to. Stolen at the front, Cottesloe with a good lift just in front of the man. Yeah, Hoskins it was. Masson. Reedy, outside for Masson. Edwards, he's got Kamara short, goes to Fifi Tova, Fifi Tova, sorry. Just slow through the ball at the moment, but it's not worrying them too much. Good little offload on the outside. Edwards spots a little gap, wants to take him on. Sees an Apu in front of him. It was an endeeming task, and an Apu's on the ball. Didn't hold on for long enough, but there could be a case for playing the ball on the ground twice or three times for Edwards. He's getting held to ground as well by an Apu. They're having a little scuffle. Kick goes over the top. Kind of a nothing kick. Freak, uh, sorry, Mark called. And that entire time, an Apu and Edwards just fuddling around on the ground and we've got Fifi Fatova down in back play, time off. Yeah, absolutely. Reese Anapu really making a mess of that breakdown for Cottesloe. He's, he's actually, second line of defence is actually quite deep and when they're able to make that little break there, it gives him time to actually get on the ball there and he's a strong little fella, Reese. And it lets Manahira Eden fade about with the back so there's a little bit more protection on the sideline. There's a lot of confidence there having your nine set deep. Yeah, putting a lot of trust in there first up tackles and their first up defensive line. Their spacing's really good at the moment, Valley. Uh, and there we see the, the little dart from Rory Edwards, but Risa Nupu was quickly onto the ball and was probably, yeah, a little bit of a play on the ground there, but the number three from Palmyra Pearson Kennington was probably a little bit offside as well. <laughs> so we're just going to have a chat to the two number nines, having a bit of a scuffle on the ground. Judging by the hand gesture there, it is a no oh, more call. Right no, we'll, we'll keep them up. You sense that somebody could be heading to the bin in this match if both teams keep up the aggression. Right. Love to see it. It's a grand as long final. As they don't step you've got to bring the grand. It's a grand final. You've got to bring the aggressive. There's Eden. Bit of a wobbly old kick towards the sideline. Don't and know why you tap that. Just kick it anyway. He's bundled into touch. He's having a horrid time over there for Peter Tavo. Yeah, he's feeling the rough. He's been all right in, in the last couple of rounds, but yeah. more, more is an off-the-bench wing. He actually is a good late injector, but these big players up front when they've got fresh legs, they just seem to have his number at the moment. There's only a couple that can really come on and replace him, and I wouldn't want to waste them early just in case anything else happens. What have we got here? A no little bit of a knock-on as he was bundled into touch. Yep. So, pot scrum. This will be a good test now. The Palmyra, see if the Palmyra scrum gets put under some pressure here. It's normally what they do. They like to not push if they get first feet of the day, and then as soon as it's opposition ball, they really let down the hammer. So we'll see just how strong Palmyra is if they can hold off this shove. And Apu waits, feeds, and it then comes. the shove comes immediately. Got it out nicely. Cunningham did well. Anapu backdoor for McGregor. Manahira Eden with a little bit of space to move. Gets inside, but a great tackle from Kamara. Coming around, wrapping McGregor. Grubs it through. The angle's a little bit too sharp, and it'll roll into touch. But that is a sharp bit of play from Palmyra and is threatening all the time. Yeah, and absolutely. They're going to show their hand nice and early. Palmyra this afternoon. They won out the back to Manahira Eden, showing a good line. It was a one-on-one -on -one tackle. But it was a good cover defense from Kamara. And then Jack McGregor on the loop. With the support play, good option just to put the ball in behind, keep the pressure on Cottesloe. Five-man line out now. Double fake at the front, nice line out. No commit to the mall, so they have to spill it out. And Masson does well to get up to the 22. Probably could have fell a metre shorter and it would have been even handier for his team. Now McDermott's going to have to go centre field. Testing catch, chance nice to run straight back. Arundel. Sees a couple of big players in front of him. Manages to get back to his right-hand side wing. He's half isolated. Reedy tries to get over the top. Unsuccessful. Risa Napu slows things down. Wants this forward runner, but it goes back door for McGregor. Cut out past Cunningham. 
good carry from the captain, by ex-captain then losing it forward. I think referee even said stripped backwards off cot. Need a more effective exit this time. Just need to chase on the ball. Nice dart up through the middle. Quick ball. Goes back door for McDermott, who goes the Tory oh, instead. The top. Manahir Eden underneath. Very soft on the hands. I like the way he's taken that in. Could go up and under here. Watch Will go and up chase. and under. Chasing on well. A couple of people. Oh, so what a pick the up. Pick up. McDermott, everybody's got the skills on show today. If it's not Cunningham, it's someone else. Slow ball yeah, could Pally's be in danger. A lot of pressure at that breakdown again. Kamara holds it. Edwards fires his captain. Hoskins on the outside, oh, crunching hit. tackle. Edwards wants to fire some more forwards off, but he's just a little bit slow at the moment, so dies, decides to cancel the weak Tory down the middle. Andrew wow. again. That wasn't the kick to make. That needed to go real high if you wanted to make it that distance. 40 metres out from their own line. Palmyra now have a chance to settle and looks like they'll do just that. There's about 12 of them inside that ruck. So they've got no chases if they kick this clear. Need a call to use it here as well. It's got to be played. This is too long. Anapu, boxing. There's only three chasing though. Big chance if they want to swing this one left. Nickel with ball in hand and now finds a bit of space. Kicks it over the top. McDermott, now he's a dangerous kick. He's going to take his time and dot this one into touch. Just out past halfway with the outside of the foot. Banana, nana, nana. And does exactly as scripted. Line out, Cottesloe on halfway. Oh, I appreciate that it's kicking game is really important. But that time, Cottesloe really missed a trick. They had a, probably a two or three man overlap over here on the left. But they chose to just keep the pressure on Pally through the kicking game. And they still get the line out. But, geez, they had a, a wonderful attacking opportunity with two or three backs out here against forwards. Andrew Reddy. Again, with the line out over the back, slap down. Kaisaridi does really well there. Eventually finds his way out for McDermott and Panchi. Just retiring towards his own line. They're 40 metres out from their line now, so it's just flipped the script a little bit here. Hoskins getting held up in the tackle. Haven't heard a call of Moore yet, but he's gone to tackle. Gone to ground, I should say. Firing on the outside, Masson finds a ball runner. That's got to be forward through the hands. Yeah, yep. called from the sideline, Burnett. Just shoveling a little bit across field that time. Cottesloe just running out of options. Mm. Tobias Hoskins staying down that time. Him and Cohen Masson getting through a mountain of work with carries at the moment. Some of the uh, Cottesloe top five probably need to step up a little bit more and carry. Take a little bit of the load off the back rowers. They've just got to be careful, Cottesloe, they don't kick too much ball away. Yeah. We all know... The attacking power that Pally's got out wide. Well, just the back three. And the back three are really potent. So the more ball you give them, the more attacking opportunities you're going to get. And it makes your type five do a lot more work too when they're going to make more tackles. So maybe just ball in hand a little bit more. As the push comes from Cottesloe again. It's good, good exit for Napu. Gee, wins that one-on-one. -on -one, just didn't quite get the legs free. Ball secured nicely by Andrill. Slow to come out, but the forwards won't mind. They're going to crash it up regardless. Reedy and full grave cut underneath the legs. That ball's out. Referee says no, so lucky they didn't go. I would have. And Apu now finds McGregor. Goes wider, wider. Eden holds things up, shapes the kick, then kicks around the outside. Nothing through there. Good defense. They're going to try blow through the middle here. It's got to be a penalty if you think he is around the side, pushing the halfback then. I've luckily gotten away with it. McGregor again, will shape to kick this time, and Drill is chasing this one. Nickel goes up, lost backwards, and Scott Nickel just holds on to the ball. It was pretty good in the air on that occasion. Looked a little bit nervy, though. Well, could have been a turnover here for Pally. Here's Pally. a turnover. Huge now. Needs some quick release. Needs someone deeper. Their whole line hasn't realised they've got the turnover yet. Now it's going to go back to McGregor. Space in the back corner. Blayton short. Gets ball in hand. Steps inside. Could have given that back to McGregor around the out. Decides to hold it in. 24 out from the line. A little bit of a sense here. How's that come out the side? Off the foot play on. Tobias Hoskins kicks free of the first tackle. Now we can start building once again. Maybe it's an opportunity to kick this time. They've got lost forward advantage. Coming oh. out of the line strongly. Just missing it out wide. Good little Kamara. attempt. Kamara. Off he goes. Kamara. He's out of one, out of two. 
Got Jackson on the inside, can get it to him. Gregory Jackson straight towards the line. Could have popped it to Scott Nickel, but couldn't on the occasion. Now we're five metres out, not releasing before getting that one free. Penalty, oh, Cottesloe. Will he really go to the pocket? It's got to be a cynical. It has to be. What a break from Kamara that time. He shrugged off two would-be tacklers. Did a great job in holding his feet, getting the ball away. And then it was a Palmyra play. We couldn't see who it was. It might have... Seven. Trey Maloney, potentially. He's trudging back the 13. Certainly someone got in there and absolutely killed that ball off. Yeah, number seven, Tyron Law. Tyron Law made the tackle, got on quickly, but just never clearly released. Stopped that pass to Scott Nickel. And yes. now they're a man down. And under the pressure here. So will Cottesloe take the point? So will they use their... Uh, Hoskins will want a scrum here as much as it has. No, you take yeah, the points. Good. I've been into him enough this year. He's starting to learn the game of rugby. <laughs> Jeez, Nick, I think he's got a little bit more experience than you. A lot more than me. <laughs> a lot more than me. Don't worry about Nick. This will be huge yeah. to go up 6 0. Yeah, and that'll, that'll mean that Pally has to finish this half off with pretty much one man down. Yeah, with time off accrued for, maybe just gets on with four seconds to go. But Pally is showing some good good enterprise play and attack. They're probably just lacking that one extra phase to really make the most of it. They're going wide really early, and they probably need to get a little bit more front foot ball in their first and second phase before they go wide. But certainly stretching Cottesloe out there in that 13 channel this afternoon. Yeah, Cotter just got to be careful not to give him too many opportunities there because they're just going to relish every single chance. Pally's the type of team too can put on two or three quick tries in a quick session and quick time. McDermott to go two from two. Oh, he's missed it. Out to the right. Oh, so we've got the grand final nerves for the kickers this afternoon. He's missed an absolute sitter. Lots of noise from the Palmyra fans, even so though they're 0 2. So the scoreboard stays 3 0. Oh, do you think Tobias Helson was going, oh, I wish I had a scrum now. Oh, I was in his head. <laughs> I was in his head. McGregor to get us back underway. It's a solid kick straight down the middle. Masson. Trying to call who wants it. Masson is the one who ends up receiving. Well, hole. That's a great run through the hole. Didn't quite hold his feet, but releases the ball, goes again. So they're struggling to even bring him down. Plenty of runners ready to take this game on. Kaiser Reedy stretches above his head but takes the ball nicely. Wants to try and get the legs free, but Short just dims, dumps him over. Surely from the side, if you go on from the ball there, Palmyra gets blown off it anyway. Reddy brought by Cunningham. Got to be careful of the seatbelt there. Edwards for full grape. Straight towards the line, 30 out from it. So just need to get mall. the ground. Yeah, mini mall. Gets called mall in international a little bit now, just even on that basis alone. And we're going to have a penalty. Wow, holding on. Take a look at that one again. Yeah, I'm not sure Sam Jones has managed that one pretty well. Take a look at Certainly the one bouncing Pally off getting, the right. They're getting their hands in as many rucks as they possibly can, slowing that ball in. You see it, Vera Tuala, or Mahaki, I think it might be. There's certainly a second man in. It could have been a maul. But he can't have released. And if it's a penalty for not releasing, it has to have been a ruck. And that means he has to be a tackle assist that he hasn't even let go of. So, Pally, get one. There. Good work by Scott Nickel to keep that one in. McDermott goes to the air. Goes oh, he's high. overrun it. Eyes up, mate. Eyes up. Yeah, you got to get it through. Now a chance for Cottesloe to burst straight through. Manahira Eden just covers across the back. But there could be a lot of ruck pressure here. Only one goes in from Cott. Needed to blow through there. And Apu waits things down. We need a call to use it here as well. Oh, he's giving him plenty of time. Heaps of time. We're trying to stamp that out of the game. McGregor goes for the line because he had nothing on besides safety. Tell you what, Sam Jones just needs to clear things up here at the breakdown at the moment. Mm. We've either got Cottesloe players sealing off or we've got Pally players reaching through and slowing the ball down. There's, there's the two extremes being done from both teams here at the moment. And that's affecting the speed of play. We're not getting an open, clear game here. Both teams just taking the absolute nth degree at the breakdown. <laughs> Cot line out, one nicely off the top. They bring it down before pinging it out. McDermott, Jackson, sorry, Fifi Vitova. Nice wraparound play. 
Nothing too special here. Trying to hold it up. Dylan Cunningham's done well there. Once the mall call gets tackled. Ready. Reedy loses it forward. Cleaned up across the back. Palmyra just need to settle this one. Probably don't want to have a scrum, so they want to play away. And they have a little chat at the front of everything there. Nothing too spicy going on. They're getting a little bit too tired towards the end of the half to care about fighting back. Scrum down, Pally Ball. But they're a man down. Yeah, Kaiser Reedy wasn't ready, ready for that one from Andrew Reddy. He thought that was just going to be definitely Reddy's carry after they got so yeah. close to the line. But I think that's that's a reflection of the pressure the Pally defence is putting on the Cottesloe mm. players at the moment. They really are getting in their face. They're being very physical in the contact area. Trying to hold them up as much as they can so they can't get to ground easy. Just making it very, very difficult for Cottesloe to get any sort of front foot ball. So danger here. Cunningham's moved across to the side when he's been so good at number eight fishing that ball out, which might make it a little bit harder to dig out, but I'm wrong in the end. Ends up working out just fine. Manahira oh, Eden oh. throws one really wide on the outside, trying to get a little bit Miller. of footwork on. Miller goes straight through. The big horse gets oh. it on the inside for Manahira oh, Eden. Trying to catch him, but they won't. Manahira Eden scores the try in the grand final. The oh. PG Hampshire winner oh. goes straight through. Chris Miller leading try scorer links up with the PG Hampshire winner. And they've done absolute magic to score the first points for them in this game. Five plays, three kick to come. Well, Pally's been playing to that outside channel the whole time. And this time off a set piece ball, one man down in the scrum. It went wide to Menahera Eden, who absolutely threw a ripper pass. Mm. It was the dull double cut. And this pass here was an absolute ripper to Chris Miller. In and away and stood up his man and off we went. The Jet Shoes beat Kamara and it was that pass is probably a little bit marginal. But the hands were going backwards and Eden, the PG Hampshire winner, finishes off with what some beautiful pieces of play from the Palmyra backs, just executing to perfection. I'm sorry, but I think I think Tommy Fifi Tatova might need to get subbed at half time here. He's just not rocked up to the occasion today. He was very, very deep there. Yeah. And probably just needed to Got read caught. that read to read that play a little bit better than what he did he was just oh, no. caught flat-footed and Chris Miller just absolutely stood him up mm. Kamara did a terrific e effort to even get, get to Chris Miller <laughs> um, and then of course while you get to that time there's not much Scott Nickel can do about it other than take the man with the ball and it was a uh, good follow-up play from Eden to get the pass back and that's lit the pally crowd up that's give them something to cheer about and at the moment I'd have to say Pally's got the upper hand in this game They've been able to put pressure at the Cottesloe breakdown. Their attacking play looks far, far more polished. It's whether or not they can sustain the physical pressure that the cot forwards can put on them. Well, that's it. They could be further in front of this game, except for if besides the two points that they already are. Could add extra two if this one goes over. And yeah, finally, finally does. One. one from three. But that's it. If he was three from three, that would be a whole other ball game already. Cottesloe three, Palmyra seven. Dying couple of minutes of the first half in the Fortescue Premier Great Grand Final for 2021. Yeah, and Pally with a man in the bin as well. Being able to get a try with 14 men on the field. That's a double bonus. They shouldn't so. have had the overlap there as well. They had a full eight committed to the scrum. Did Cottesloe, uh, sorry, did Palmyra. And they've still managed to find an overlap. McGregor fakes. Then goes a risky little ball. Andrew gets outside the 22. Arundel. Kicks through. Here they go. Palmyra up again. Throws one on the outside. Just getting run down. Has to step in. Does really well to stay in there. Trey Maloney. 40 metres out from the Cottesloe oh, line. Over and Napu goes a chip and chase over the top. But there's only one there. But he Pugh. beats Scott Nickel in the air. Pew goes to ground. Inside the 22. Must go left. Need a quick release of the ball here. Who's Still there to get numbers. it? Got to give it. Go. Cunningham can give it for Manahira Eden. Chris Miller's in the corner. They could dive over if he can beat them on the outside. Surely just short. And into touch. Tyler Miller raises the flag. Oh, they just need to go through the hands there. Someone needed to straighten up. There was, uh, I'm not sure the kick over the top was the right option earlier from Anapu, but Jackson Pugh did well to get it back. It was good by Had McGregor the, at, the, yeah. at the first part of this play. Just a dummy inside. Andrew kicks three of that first tackle. And then they were just off to the races. Maloney on the outside does really well to stay in the field of play for my mind. We're back under play live. Tobias Hoskins wins at the front of the line out. Nowhere for Edwards to go, so it gets wrapped up almost high. But it's kind of a clash of just consequence. 
Hot as I slow things down. McDermott's in the pocket. They need a half in. So they're going to go another forward pod. They don't want to risk that pass back to McDermott going dead. Edwards trying to find his way to his feet. Eventually he finds it up. Again, Pally Doesn't. just making it very, very difficult for Cott to clear this ball. Eventually Edwards gets there. McDermott goes to touch. And yeah. slowing things down. Didn't want to play with fire there. Made sure that hit the crowd. Tell you what, Cotters, they just probably just feeling the pinch a little bit here at the moment. Just get a, you just get a feeling that there's a little bit more energy coming from the Palmyra players. They're a little bit more up and about. Certainly the Pal Pally Ford pack this afternoon has really stepped up to the challenge. I mean, and it's no need to panic because it's it's you knew you knew that if Pally were going to get up against you, they had to be in your face. So you you've got to respond Here to that go. happening now. They've won it at the line out. Now they can spin it wide early. McGregor calmly waits, so he might not even want it yet. It's DeWitt again with a little, nice little take and a run. He's had a stellar season, DeWitt. Pew. And Apu, Cunningham. Does so much work, still the big man. Now Anapu will scoot for McDermott. Sorry, McGregor. Eden Ooh. only just holds on to it. Gregory Jackson slips off the tackle. Kamara commits, then releases once it went to ground. Need to get a little bit of spark in this attack once again. Oh, that's yeah, it has to be. They were just <laughs> never retired. They never got back those pally forwards. Yeah, Jack, Jack McGregor just complaining that his hands were going backwards, but I don't think so. Jackson Pugh was a good meter in front of him. Scrum down. I think the yellow card has maybe just returned as well. Yeah, yeah, that'd be about right. Works out perfectly, so we must be on the stroke at half time then. 15 on 15, three plays seven. One big old cup on the line. Have you try to run out the half here Coach. if you caught it, or are you having one more go? Fine. Stick to your systems here, stick to your systems. Shut. Hoskins changes channel just to get his feet over the ball here. Chance to pick up the ball. It's available. You've got to use it. Being called by the referee. Back door for McDermott once again. Who goes central. Splits the gap. And Drill's going to be the first one there. And he's going to field this one about five metres from his line. He's going to let it go. It's probably not the wisest. I'd probably still be running. 22. 22 he'll take. It was a good kick that time from Jack McDermott. The cot 10. You've got to be able to find the grass when you're kicking long. Mm. One minute to half time, have a chat then. One minute to half time, referee Sam Jones. Tobias Hoskins wanted to have plenty of words today, he just wants to keep having a chat. Goes long. It's a good drop out from McGregor. Nickel does well to get underneath and he'll give it to Masson to come straight back towards the line. Decides to not go for full pace, tries to defy so long and he gets the high tackle advantage. Is a kickable kick as well for McDermott. So he might just roll the dice here and give himself a chance. Hoskins took his eyes off the ball for a little bit there. Then they've got left behind. We'll come back penalty. And I say with a minute to go, it's maybe worth having a shot. Yep, definitely have a shot at this one. Breeze will probably favour his kick. It's certainly within range for McDermott here. And going to the throws of half time, I think finishing this half 7-6 would be a, probably a good outcome for the Seagulls. Yep, they're going to have a shot. It's always interesting, the one-point margin in a grand final. Just right. makes people think of the options they're going to take late in the game. Well, it was always a little bit of a question mark whether or not Palmyra will be able to back up again after week-to-week -week mm. victories or a draw and then a big victory against Nedlands, the minor premiers, whether or not they could do it again. But certainly the first half that they played here this afternoon, up front, the forwards are doing the job and the backs are showing their hand nice and early and they're sticking to it. Just keep on going wide, and if I was their coach at half time, I wouldn't get him to change anything. You want to slow the cop ball down, and you want to throw it as wide as quite as often as you possibly can, and really try and expose Jackson and the two inexperienced cop winner, wingers that they've got there this afternoon. Yeah, I think there's definitely got to be conversations about Fifi Fatova at half time. I've liked him this year, but it just certainly doesn't look like he's robbed up to the occasion. They might give him 10 minutes on the other side to fix things, but otherwise. Can't have anyone being a liability out wide against Palmyra, especially not in a grand final. McDermott, to get it to a one-point margin, on the stroke of half-time, fades out to the left, 
and that'll be the half. So Pia Myra lead the grand final for 2021, seven points to three. Plenty more action here to come. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll be back right after this.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, one and all. We're about to get started in the second half of the Fortescue Premier Grey Grand Final for 2021. McDermott with ball in hand, a strong whistle from Sam Jones, applies the tone of the second half, kicks it long, oh. a bit of a juggle at the back for Andrew, goes to Mc McGregor who just kicks it clear and safely into touch. The halftime score, three points to seven. And Palmyra are looking likely at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, well, Pally up and about. I know so they all ran to their uh, bench at half time, whereas the Cotters goes, guys all just wandered across. Pally were first team to set to get the second half underway, whereas Cot was still having a bit of a chat in their huddle. I just don't know where Cotters is going to get their points from at the moment. I can't see him crossing the chalk. Hoskins wins in the middle of the line out. And they're going to march it forward, but need to be careful to make sure this is still available. It is, and Edwards digs it out. They're going to go through a forward little run first. Again, Cunningham just manhandles Masson. And he's done really well this afternoon already. The ex-captain, McDermott, nowhere to go. So cuts back inside, and he's got himself in a world of trouble. That clean-out is off feet, and that has absolutely killed the contest. Cottesloe get away with it, and they'll find the ball down the short side, trying to get hands free still. Not too much happening on the far side. Edwards tries to release back this way. It's a good tackle. Palmyra are here. They've gone absolutely nowhere, but oh, now advantage. they've got the advantage. <laughs> Collapsing inside or even not rolling. It was not all rolling. there. Yep. And just Pally's just going to have to maintain the discipline. We just talked while the mics were off at half time that Pally hadn't given away a lot of ill disciplined penalties. They had the yellow card, but that was about it for that first half. Just got to make sure that the penalty count doesn't start to work against them and, and lose momentum in this game. Well, it's pretty much as you described as well. It's the only avenue really for Cottesloe to win this game is off the boot taking these points. So discipline's key if you deny them the chance. Because right here, another chance as we had just before the halftime break to make this a one-point margin. Similar sort of kick, a little bit shorter. We've seen McGregor go one from two from this spot right here. Yeah, and I just don't think Kaiser Reedy, the, the tight head prop, normally likes to carry and he's a little bit more physically dominant. Today he's been pretty quiet. As you've seen, if he's flopped into a couple of rucks a couple of times, he's certainly not dominating the scrum like we thought he would. Mm. I mean, and we know full grab will stay out there, so you're looking for you're looking for Kaiser Reedy to have an impact, empty the gas tank, and then bring on uh, Fifi Fatova. Not Fifi Fatova, sorry. This kick's good. Yep. Yeah. No worries at all. Look nice off the boot. One point margin. Six plays seven down here in the Fortescue Premier Grade Grand Final. Peter Toa. Peter Toa. Mean. Yes. So certainly I think Kamara has been the pick of the Cottesloe players so far. He's been good with the ball in hand. He's getting through a lot of defence. I think obviously Cohen Masson and Tobias Hoskins also getting through a lot of work. But probably need puppets and... Herrick, the, the locks from Cott to step up a bit more. Hoskins to receive the kickoff. Getting lined up on the outside by Andrew, but manages oh, to hold his feet well. Good play from Hoskins. And he's done well. Full grave on the outside. Dishes out one further. Gets taken out behind the line. They peel into the ruck, and then they're going to go back into the pocket. McDermott wanted to kick, but Did sees a little hole. gap. Commits to it and gets halfway through it. Gains a good little bit of meterage, and they're up to the wow. 40. Full grave. Dishing off once again, doesn't want to carry, just wants to give off passes oh. the big number one, then just lost forward on the outside. It's going to get lost forward advantage over into touch. Hugh Huppertaz wanted the carry, just couldn't hold on. I think Sam Jones just needs to check whether or not it came off the head or not. No, definitely knock on. Yeah, just push the pass there and hmm. Huppert's just not ready for it. Oh, hang on. What have we got here? Off the head, maybe. Maybe off the head. Which meant to be a line out, caught ball, came free just as it was going over in to touch off a pally player. Got a let off there for Cott. Big throw here for Reddy. Goes deep for Hoskins. Pinpoint accuracy. McDermott needs to pick a runner. He takes Grat Jackson, who loses it forward. And now, little chip over the top. Well done by Palmyra and McGregor. This is going to stay in the field of play. So the inexperienced oh, winger nice. fumbles it. It's that offside. Really well done there by Fifi Fitova to not play that ball. But it was all sort of shambles out there for a moment. Slow pill. And you're just going to have to get this one outside the 22. That's but it's not, not out. out. Can't make these mistakes. 
PG Hampshire winner Manahira Eden comfortably whips that one back in the field of play. Now a chance for Andrew to fire McGregor on the outside. He has magic footwork. They need to stop him early. They crush him backwards over the top. This is still dangerous ball though. They get the penalty advantage. Didn't remain on their feet. Started collapsing over the top. Anapu slowing things down for a reason I'm unsure of. Now Leighton Short fires a cross kick. Anybody's ball up in the air. L Maloney tries to get up. Will come back penalty off feet. Wow, Cotterzo absolutely made a meal of that, didn't they? The, uh, the winger Alec Fatalvo, Fatalvo completely missed it. Completely missed it. But it was a good vision from Jack McGregor to put the little kick over the top. Mm. So again, I'm just this is not the cotters though we've been seeing all season, especially in the back half of the season. And Pally have just got all the momentum, all that momentum that they've gained over the last few weeks are carrying into this game this afternoon. They're playing with confidence. Jack McGregor is certainly having a game out of his skin at the moment. He's trying to really be a live wire out there, trying to bring the energy, keep the ball in hand. Some clever kicks. Well, he, he just does look that one class above McDermott at the moment, doesn't he? Yep, I'm, I don't think McDermott and McGregor are in the same class. You can't <laughs> talk about them in the same sentence. <laughs> They've got the same jersey on and that's about it in your mind, is it? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, it, Pally, they're just hanging tough at the moment. I think Cotter's low coaching staff, Ryan Westerway, this is where he's going to have to be clever. He's going to have to look at where he needs to change things up. There's a bit of a substitution going on. It could be Benny Meredith going on. And he could be going on for potentially McDermott. I'm not sure. I can't tell who's come off. So maybe McGregor just not trusting the boot, trusting the ability to get over the line. And it certainly would cause a ruckus if they can get this oh, one yeah. down to the ground and start them all. Not gone anywhere yet, but they start to peel off on the right-hand side. And here comes Palmyra. They've got everybody in the forward pack on this mall. Here and they go. pick around the blind side and score a try in the corner. Palmyra are starting to make ways in this grand final and the three-peat is under serious threat. 12 plays, six kick to come. Yeah, and I reckon that might have been either the, the front row or the hooker. The Tuolala just sneaking down the right-hand side there. You see Fatualala just joining the ruck there with the number one and just being able to just have the wherewithal just to peel it off. I think Risa Napu was probably giving him the, the go forward there. That's oh, a great little... Can't tell. It might have been the Mahaki. Maybe. I think it's Mahaki. Was at the back controlling the ball for a while there. So we'll give it to Mahaki. He'll claim it. But that was clever play. That was just sucked in the, the Cottesloe forwards there. And Risa Napu did a good job just communicating to the forwards who had the ball at the back where the space was on the short side down the right-hand side. So, yeah, I reckon that is Benny Meredith that's out there and yeah. looks like Jack McDermott's had an early shower. So, a big call from Coach Ryan Westerway. I mean, if it's not working, it's not working. We've identified it up here. Safety is no longer the option. You've got to win this grand final. Just, just that little bit of extra attacking depth too that if that is Ben Meredith that he can bring as part of the... Uh, didn't play in the last year's grand final because he was injured, but the year before he certainly had an outstanding season. So, very important kick from McGregor now. Looks good off the boot. Yeah, he's kicked it. McGregor is 0-2 from penalties, but he's 2 from 2 on conversions. 14 plays 6. And we're 9 minutes in to the second half in your Fortescue Premier Grade grand final. And that's where that 8-point buffer starts to come into play if any grand final is ever going to be tight you want that buffer to play with as meredith gets us back underway just a short sharp stab drop out andrew dicing up a couple of options finds his way towards the line just outside the 22. mcgregor says i don't want it yet you guys need to do some more work up front looks like they're shaping to box in fact anapu takes all the time he's given no communication at the back again, but eventually Masson will run it straight back towards the line. Firing out right-hand side, trying to get free once again. Fifi Tatova, shut dummies, gets through the line a little bit. Oh, this is a little bit like special. I don't know why he took the winger on out there. Beat him on the inside, then goes back towards him. Kamara 
goes up with a nice little carry. Hoskins in support over the top. Now they can start working forward. Full grape oh. gets shut down. Ball available at the back. Is it available there? No. Scrum just being lost forward. Yeah, came off a pally player there. Full grave. We're looking for a quick ball. Ben Meredith had himself set. Had numbers out to the left there. Masson, Nickel. And a dangerous scrum for Cottesloe here. So Cotts just gone up a little gear. That's probably jogged him in a bit of action. Maybe Tobias Hoskin gave him a bit of a rev up behind the post after the try. Ten minutes into this second half. Both teams exchanging blows. Pep Cop with the penalty. Pally with the try. So the Cop forward scrum. pack have really got to start to dominate here. Pally's really mixing it with them. And if they can nullify this Cop forward pack, Pally's definitely got the edge in the backs. If they can just walk this one forward, take the penalty and the points. Popping up on this near side towards us. Yeah, they get the penalty for it nicely and they should just point straight towards the sticks here. It's a solid scrum, didn't move much in terms of actual field position. But you just see on this near side here, eventually just collapsing underneath. Yeah, good scrum that time from Cott. They need to take the points here. Get themselves back underneath that buffer score. So the number eight for Pally, Dylan Cunningham's had a really impressive game this afternoon. He's really tried to bring that physicality to the contact zone in defence. Jackson Pugh's been busy. He put a big shot on earlier on Cohen Masson. But uh, Sanders and Devet have been very industrious as locks this afternoon, as well as the front row from Pally. They've been very mobile, trying to get in amongst us, especially Mahaki and Vertatualala. And of course, the, uh, we all thought the backs in Manahera, Eden, McGregor, Anapu, Miller, Short, and Arundel have all had very solid games. Trey Maloney's been a little bit quiet, but certainly Marcus Arundel's been good on the wing. Chris Miller's only had a little bit of ball, but he set up that first try, mm. was, which was an absolute cracker just before half time. I mean, certainly, normally we would actually call out the locks for Palmyra, DeWitt, and Sanders a little more often, but they're just being quiet achievers today, straight through the middle. There's a little bit of trouble here for Vatiuala, the hooker for Palmyra, who's back to his feet now. And may no longer take part in this game. He's gingerly walking off to the side. He's had a good game this afternoon with Tulala. So Ellie. I'll take the points, thanks, sir. Benny Meredith steps up. And this is a crucial kick. Just got to chip away at the lead here. Not looking likely to get over the line. As we saw in the in the women's game earlier today where the Cottesloe Shegals got up over the Wanneroo Divas. It was all Divas for most of the match and then Cottesloe were able to jag two late tries, one right on the bell to steal victory. And just goes to show if you can stick with it and keep persevering. Anything can happen on grand final day. Make the game 9 to 14. 13 minutes into the second half. Meredith without a number on his back. Strikes that cleanly. That's straight through. Yep. Nine plays three down here at Hartfield Park. So a high scoring game over on field number two this afternoon. West Scarborough coming out 60 points to 43 winners over Kalamunda, over 100 points in that game this afternoon. Deep inside the 22, Edwards underneath, but allows Masson in front just to take the ball instead. Gets outside the 22 and eventually driven back towards the ground. Support rise and blows straight through. Good little dart off the side of the ruck. Now pocket for Meredith. Oh, charge. Everyone's on. Full grave. Loses it backwards. Still play on. Could have gone for it. They half set a fake ruck there. Oh. Nickelga's going to get lined up here in the middle. Should have popped that one out. They're going to try to keep it alive, but they don't need to panic here. Cottesloe, they've still got ball. And now they can just kick to clear again. Meredith got it a little bit faster than he would have liked, but he clears. McGregor catches at the back. 
Got plenty of numbers around him to support. Tries to crack back down the left-hand side. Holds it, steps inside once, twice. Couldn't get through on the second one. Straight over the top. Turnover, Cotter's low. Turnover's good. Don't need a penalty there. Now tackle release. Pally, you've got to be smart here or they're going to give it away. Rolling. Not rolling. Really smart play. Really good turnover. Cotter's low. Not willing to get ton yet. Plenty of rugby left here this afternoon. The fans are here to see it. And they're sure going to get a mouthful. Not sure who that is out there this afternoon in jersey number 20. We'll try and get you a name, but it was a, it was a terrific bit of work. Meredith just nicely into touch past halfway. Robin O'Sullivan it is on our team sheet this afternoon, making an impact on the bench, is what you need the bench to do. Better try and lift his fellow Cot Seagull players. Trying to bring a bit of spark to the forward pack as and here I reckon comes the secret weapon for Cotter's low as well. It's time for Kaiser to have a break, and that's a good move from coach Ryan Westerway. Huge call, Gerard, Gerard. Fatty Atar. Here he is, the big man. He's a lot more mobile than Kaiser. Oh, and he's going to make sure everybody finds out about it too. Loves moments like these. Good lift at the line out, then eventually nowhere to go for Edwards, so he has to just take it back underneath. O'Sullivan, Hoskins. Nice little carry, one out and across. Hands were on the ground first, so he couldn't go there. But the se second bit of support isn't quite there. Lucky to not get another penalty against him. It was almost in range as well. Edwards doesn't know where the ball is. Saw players going everywhere. Now coming around the back, O'Sullivan again. Really good carry by him, having an injection straight away. Fulgrave takes it off the side of the ruck, decides to run it. Now Fadi on the left here. But slow ball's going to hamper his experience. Gerard now gets the ball and tries to get his legs pumping through the gap. Displays the ball nicely. They get a quick recycle for Kamara down the left-hand side. Popping it over the top. Fifi Tatova, or it could be Gregory Jackson fighting back in field now. Jackson. Just nowhere forward, though, for Cott. This is good playing, and there's nowhere forward. They've lost it forward. And Palmyra hold out again. If they don't give away the penalty... They're not conceding any points, Palmyra. Yeah, Rory Edwards not having a good time of it this afternoon. His service has been pretty sloppy at times, and he's been very slow to get that ball out. Probably it's mainly because of Pally putting so much pressure down on that background there on the on the, on the the breakdown. And just wondering now, like the, the reserves seem to be doing their jobs off the bench. I wonder if they've got another ace up his sleeve, Ryan Westaway from Scott, whether or not they bring, he's got another nine there that he could potentially bring on. I think Kyle Fell can fall into it. Yeah. So, I just think Ali are in these guys' heads, and they have been since the get-go. Here we go. Let's go. You get, the, you get the, the inclination that Benny Meredith has been sent out there to try and really speed this game up, trying to be a little bit more in, industrious in attack. Crouch! It's one of those games where you just feel it could open up at any stage here. It's been a grind up until this point. We're 60 minutes in, well, just a shy of it. If Pally can get another try here, Cot are not the type of team to be able to chase down a scoreboard. They like to they like to lead from the front and just grind out a win, and they like to just dominate a game from the get-go. They're not a comfortable team chasing the scoreboard. Similar to Soaks in the way, and normally the way the Battle of Broom Street goes, whoever's up early wins the game because none of them can chase. But there's a bit of feeling in this one. If there was a time to come from behind for Cottesloe, get the three-peat done, make it in the history books. Shaking his head over here, Mick doesn't believe it. And Apu to feed the scrum. Big shove comes. They've popped him up in the middle. Ball just comes free. And McGregor will wisely tap this one over the top. Doesn't want to play any rugby in his half. Sits up really nicely. What a great bounce. Miller feeds it back. Oh. Got to be almost off feet there, arriving there. Maloney. Just charging in with the shoulder. Yeah, feet feet to Toba. I mean, Miller was right Cops there. Didn't up. see anywhere for that to go. Must be a maul if they've allowed this to play on. And it's going to be stuck. And he's going to say turned over by Cot Maul. Oh, wow. Palmyra Ball. I don't know about all of that. Wow. Well, it was a ruck. And Trey Maloney's just come absolutely flying through with a shoulder. No arm at all in that clean out. You have a look at the replay. It was great. The ball just sat up and bang. He's done nothing to shoulder, stay on his feet or clean out correctly. Charge, absolute flying right in front of Tyler Miller. 
You could not have made that any clearer, and that is a complete missed opportunity there for penalising Pally. But they get away with it, and there Sam Jones just showing his inexperience as a referee, not being able to pick that one up. Understanding the moment that's happening there and why you need to have a desperation clean out that does anything. And even just the, the next clean out after that, mm. Cop were able to get the ball up and then he's called it a maul. And of course, as soon as he's called it a maul, Pally guys are all over that. But then he rewards them straight back. <laughs> well, that time. Goes against Kennington. Kennington, yeah. Just bang. Yeah, took him straight down. They just they just took the took the pace off a little and bit chat. on that. In yeah, the grand well, final. Here we go. This is the pally that they just got to keep their composure. Don't Cottle worry love about this it. Now, Cottle love the sniff they're getting here. Yeah. It's not much. They don't just got to be careful. They don't lose their discipline. They've just done so well mm. for 60 minutes of this game this afternoon. They just don't want to let it slip with a little bit of ill discipline. They're on top of this game, pally. Just very casual still, Cottesloe, the way they're moving around. Need a bit of energy, need a bit of a G up. There's, there's two, two nines. halves. There's two nines there at the moment. Nice lift. They're going to form a short maul. Need to get this one off the mark before Edwards can come forward and get it. Now they can move up. But it's going to get trapped underneath. Reedy just needs to go forward. Gets the advantage side, that last Pull man entering. This is what they want to start talking Entry. about. It's a risky shot for Meredith here, so they probably have to go corner one more time. Keep going down there. They just work their way down the field here. Back-to-back -back penalties against Palmyra. And he's dying 20 minutes now. This is the big turning point of the game, this little section of play. Oh, Ben Meredith, that's a nice kick. It's a nice one. I reckon he could have chewed off a few more metres there for mm -hmm. Tyler Miller. I think she's, she's underpaid him on that one. I mean... And Almost it's time for enter Tobias Hoskins, get in Jones's ear. Technically, that's three penalties, sir. And we're marching them. They're real disciplined. Full line in. Everyone involved. They go straight to the front and form them all immediately. They catch Palmyra off guard, and there's a chance to get it going, but they need to peel a couple back off that are on the right-hand side and recommit to that mall. Now they start a little bit of a march. They're already on use at once call, so as soon as this stops, it's going to have to come out the back. Palmyra are faltering, though. This is a big march, and now it's gone down in the middle. Surely there's an advantage there oh, straight is. Straight through on the nine. <laughs> and now there's got to be a big chat happening soon. Four penalties in a row if you count marching ten. Time off, says Sam Jones. And they're just going to let the proceedings take place here. Yes. Jones steps away with Short. Don't have a mic yeah, working reckon, on him at the I moment. I he'll just get a team warning. I, I can't see him giving a card for that one, but it was just straight through and taking the nine out. Points or corner? Or scrum? Scrum. I'll take the scrum. They've been unopposed at two in the line out all day too, Cot. Pally yeah. haven't. Haven't, haven't lifted a one. Yeah. At, at two at all. So Cot of getting a free run at two all day long. No matter where on the field they've been, they've had a free throw there. Yeah, they're going to go it again. They trust it in. Yep. You guarantee to win this at two. The, the best thing Pally can do is absolutely drive, all drive in as one and yep. try to shear this one through to the, the corner post. What they don't need here the is their line. trick line out play. They go to the back, then throw it to the forward. So they don't go it, thank because that's just a lot of error that could happen. There's a Palmyra player underneath stuck at the bottom of that. Is it collapsing? Referee says not quite yet, that but is. maybe there. He's going to say use it once. Collapsed by Cottesloe. They get towards the line. Still leg going. drive, leg oh. drive. Just short. Got to present backwards. Who wants to be the man to change the tune of this game? Edwards looking for a runner on the outside for Masson. Half a metre short of the line. They've got numbers out on the left. Can they get it to him? They go to a forward runner instead. Straight towards the line. Cottesloe. Is he there? Jones circling. Doesn't mean he's not interested. He's presented numbers back. again. Numbers. Meredith wider. Meredith himself to score a try and start bringing this one back. Palmyra score, and now we've got a game on our hands. They're up 14 all with a kick to come. And this is what we're talking about. Pally just had ill discipline, just crept in this last 20 minutes. Back to back penalties, and Cottesloe just applying the blowtorch to the Pally underbelly through some driving line out balls. Pally was desperately defending this one. It was a pretty good job in the end. But at the end of the day, it was numbers game. And Benny Meredith, he's really made a big difference since being on the field. Just saw the little gap and was able to just slide over and dot it down for the five points. 
And now he's got the opportunity to put the Seagulls back in front for the first time this afternoon since they were up 3-0. So a good it's quite some time ago. A good change at 10. It was good. I think uh, McDermott was actually injured when yeah. he went off. But here we see the replay. Meredith just ball in two hands, which what you love to see from a 10. And just sliding over there, and it's just purely a numbers game after that. So the Cottesloe bench really making an impact. And the Pally discipline just letting them down for this last 20 minutes of this game. So important kick from Meredith. Strikes it. Looks pretty good. Flags are up. That's a great kick. Cottesloe take the lead in the grand final. There's 15 minutes left in regular time. 16 plays 14. We've got a grand final on our hands. The three-peats back on. McGregor goes long and central. Masson underneath. Has been great today. And he's going to scoot around the outside short. Just gets him enough to bring him to ground. They want to go short side. A little bit of an overlap. Meredith goes oh. to boot instead, though. It's going to go over the top of Anapu, who's going to let it bounce. Feeds it back to himself inside the 22 and it's going to go safe. Is it out? Might not be Rory Edwards. Let's it bounce oh, and they let it Rory go. Rory Edwards, what are you doing? No, Edwards, don't you look at Scott Nickel. That was you, young man. <laughs> you called for that ball and you let it go. Oh, they're the moments, aren't they? Look, he was just sitting under it, sitting under it. He's getting it from the Soaks fans on the sideline. Yeah, they're in his... They'll they're always in his be head. against him. <laughs> yeah, and I thought Benny Meredith could have kept that in his hand, ball in hand as well. He had mm. a couple of players outside him. It was a nice kick, found a bit of grass, but that was a good return kick from Anapu as well. Five-man line out. Looks like it'll go central. Just winning it at the top and then eventually to ground. Nowhere to really go. Herrick stepped up in these last few minutes for mm. Cot. Meredith shaping on the outside, building up a good little head of steam, O'Sullivan. Quick recycle out to the left. Be uh, Meredith wants to go on the boot again. That's not the best kick. Oh. Chance for Manahira Eden to pick things up and go straight back through the middle. Beats Jackson, beats Meredith, gets oh, brought to ground. Calls of a turnover. There's not quite there, though. He didn't survive much. Jeez, and Anapu slows had, it down again. Yeah. Before, right? Hoskins. Nice front up tackle with Masson and Anapu just searching for someone to help him out here. Nice little carry on the outside from the 19 for Palmyra's come off the bench well. Holding the player in there, Pally. Oop, Jones, advantage, almost in the way. On. Advantage for knock on through the middle there. Anapu for McGregor, who might throw a triple cut out out wide for Andrew on the right hand wing. Gets brought to ground 35 metres from the line. Flirting with touch though, we're going to come back for the loss forward. Energy building. Ooh. Benny Meredith just just getting a little bit excited now. There's just a couple of little things. He's he's brought that energy to the game, but you just go, oh, don't do grubbers. Not not when you've just put your nose in front of the scoreboard, and just you don't want to be grubbering to Menahera Eden either. On phase two, <laughs> you go on your own 40. I'll have a grubber. Yeah. You'll go long, go long, or you go in the ball in hand. It's very simple. Got to keep it simple on grand final day. So one moment he's got an opportunity to give you the ball in hand. It goes long. The next minute a little grubber kick. Just going to make sure that he keeps a level head. Tobias Hoskins down with a little bit of cramp. He's giving Actually, no, that is just the uh, boot. Those boots are a couple years old. They don't stay together at that right toe at all. It's, probably it's just tape going boot. over to keep it across. Keep it on for one more game. Just gets his tight five a bit of a breather. Mm. <coughs> Captain seat. So it's a pally feed. They're about 35 metres out, just almost centre field. Jennington's really been feeling the pinch in the last couple of scrums. He's just having a word to Sam Jones, just trying to get a little bit of ascendancy there. We've got their backup prop, Ethan Poy, on the field as well. He's good, Poy. So the big fella, what can he do here? Crouch! For Toa Toa. Bind! Shut! Oh, 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 oh. 
Here it comes. The shove comes, but it's clean ball. Cunningham pops an Apu and Eden straight away gets the gas pedal on. Didn't need to throw a triple cut out, and Maloney didn't need to grab it out of the air. Both parts of that play were wrong, and Kamara gives them a little bit of a talking to as well. Tells them they're nervous, and they might just be. They're feeling a bit of pressure now, making mistakes. Yeah, it was very unpally like just throwing those cut, cut passes there, a bit crowded. Trey Maloney going across field, didn't straighten up. Couldn't take the pass. And there's another substitute coming on. I think that might be Scott Nickel he leaving the field. Cramping up before, and now he's actually coming off. He's in a little bit of pain, so that might be Kyle Fell coming on at the back there. Yep. Here, Nick, do we just truck it up through Kamira? I think you've got to go with Kamira, but then... And then exit. Try catch Manahira Eden, who's central field right now, off guard. Go quick, quick play of the ball, then kick far left with the wind. And just for territory, doesn't have to go out, but just put it in a dangerous position. It'll come off the back. Good scrum. They'll also try go for the penalty here, but they're not going to win this penalty, so they may... Oh, they will. I don't think they deserve that. They've yeah. folded in on themselves, I reckon, Cotters, though. No, no. The whole, the whole back row of Pally came unbound there. They win a timely penalty here, Cottesloe. Like, you watch the back row of Pally, they're all off. Yeah, Cunningham's up and about, does lose his bind, I'll pay it. Yeah, and so does number 19 as well. I think that might be Liam Goulet. He's on the field as well. So the whole Pally back row could be coming unbound at that time. Meredith with not much angle to work with, gets it to halfway. This works just now just trying to st start to just control the game a little bit more both teams using their benches yeah, here comes the big pally subs this is going to be crucial who they take off yep kennington, kennington. yep and i believe duet no sanders is going to go as well kennington and sanders off sanders has been good for pally this afternoon he's been very physical he's done a lot of work around the breakdown and the tackle Time on. Lee Sower in 17 at the front of the line out there for Palmyra just come on. That's not straight. Advantage in the air. In the oh, air. Well, I'll take penalty. it. Another back-to-back -back penalty. Yeah, that Cottesloe don't want to run this. They'll just kick it down again. Yeah, thank you very much, Sam Jones. And if I was Cottesloe here, I'd be thinking about a shot at goal. Nah, they got to keep going. I, normally, I want to take the points, but I'm now marching them with this line-out mall. Got to keep going. I don't back in Meredith to kick that. He's having a look. He's having a look. No, nah, doesn't want it. If your first instinct isn't, <laughs> I've got that in the bag, don't kick it in a grand final. Nah, fair call. No, nah, they got the, you got the ascendancy at the line out at the moment. That's Pops a good that one down. Probably oh. could have asked for more again there, though. Yeah. The nerves of looking at the post got into his head. He's going to be very conservative there. I would have been trying to get that as close to that corner post as possible. Now he needs a third penalty. <laughs> at least they're within range now. Two points up on the scoreboard. Eight minutes left real time. Doesn't account for time off. There's probably three or four minutes of that at least. Hoskins lifts up at six and then oh, eventually sloppy. gets passed out of the back in an awkward manner. So Meredith will just have to pop one up to the line. Fifi Tatova has had a betterish second half except for the crucial error at the back. Now Meredith gets the ball back again. Little jab and kick over the top. Can they catch on to oh, this one? No, dear. on the full. Meredith's kicking game is... Just not quite there at the moment. The in-play kicks, I do mean. Oh, where's, where's Kyle bringing that back to? That's 15 <laughs> metres past the kick. <laughs> oh, dear. He's given Pally an extra five or so metres there. See Look. where Meredith kicks yeah. this off the second play. Gets the ball recycled here. He's oh, he's five metres past the 10 on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Unlucky oh, well. there. Oh, there's still the line out at the front. Who wants to make a big run here now? O'Sullivan, straight through the middle channeling the UWA brothers by just taking the game head on. Edwards, Hoskins, Tobias Hoskins, good carry getting lifted in the air and Apu does really well to keep him up. Tackle was caught so have to release. Ready, oh, inside ball out. for full grab. Yeah, it's a bit of a late hit on Edwards and he's a little bit sore on the way up. Fadiatoa spins out of one but loses the leg drive battle. Surprising for him, won't like that. Jackson's a little bit awkward inside of Meredith at 10. Ready, has to hold on. Counter ruck opportunity, but their hands are all over the floor, and that third man's from the side. Can't be part of it. Was Dylan Cunningham. No, it's not. It was someone else. It was six in there, not eight. Oh, really? How? Surely there was a ruck formed. 
before the hands were on there. Oh. And I'm saying six on the side first off. There was which is Pew. <laughs> that was that is just there was a complete basket case of a breakdown that one. You see Pew just is on the wrong side of the ruck and everything everywhere here and just stays there. Board number just four to wet somewhere in there with hands on the ball, reaching through. How he was able to get that up. I think he got rewarded for getting his hands on it. That's about it. So Pally will take that one. They haven't had many penalties lately. They'll certainly take it when they get it because they've had a, a, a pretty terrible run of penalties against them in the last bit of time. So Sam Jones has just got to keep a cool head here as a referee, mm. not make sure that he gets manipulated by either of these two teams going into the last five minutes. The breakdown this afternoon has been an absolute you know, free-for-all, really. Yeah, it's replicating a little bit of that Lions-South Africa game one this year. Just people crashing in left, right, centre. No real ascendancy to law or books. But it's been consistent throughout the whole day. Just a few random penalties popping out of either side of a couple of these big rucks. Yeah, so we're inside the, the last five minutes on the clock, plus injury time. Still anyone's game here this afternoon. Pally could snaffle it with a beautiful try. Cock could put it out of Pally's reach with another penalty or a try. So game's right in the balance here. A lot of pressure on the reserve hooker, Michael Tui. Rushing into the line, faking at the front, oh, not straight at the back. He's going to let it play away, surely Masson. not, but at least it works for Masson. Need a little bit of support over the top. Cock could start to seal things off if they can finally get across the line from an infield play and a bit of a try, but they just oh. kick it away through Meredith again. I'd like to see a couple of phases oh, before we go. Oh, there's a loose pass from Miller. Manahira Eden has enough time to clean up. He's going to go down the left-hand side of the field. Kyle Fell receives it at the back and looks immediately to go long inside the 22. Chris Miller can oh, run the ball, can score go. tries. He's let it bounce. Oh, it's sitting up. They have to play it. Miller gets around the outside. Now for McGregor, intercept touch safely, you would assume. No, Kamara's underneath it. Let's it go. Could play quickly. Not out at all. Bounces in the oh. field of play. <laughs> Burnett's flag is down. Kamara. No, he's just taking his time. Relax. A cool customer is Pansy Kamara. Now Fifi Tatova on the right-hand side. Running out of support, though. There's the entire forward back of Palmyra out there. Edwards, full grape, dishing it on the outside for Fell, who breaks through the line. Fell just needs to get to ground, and they need support over the top. Short side, still an option. Not quite there. Edwards needed to be quicker. Eventually gets the ball one out, one across, and they dump it across the line. Nothing on for Cott. Oh, I reckon Cott were looking dangerous there. There's just a couple of little opportunities just... Kelly's just giving him a little bit of a sniff out wide. Just here, I needed Rory Edwards here a little bit sooner off this next play just to be able to scoot and take this blind. He ends up getting a pop ball from Panchi. Yeah, Rory Edwards is absolutely cooked, mate. He yeah. needs to be subbed out. Ryan Westaway, if he's got a backup nine there, I'd be using it. Well, Fell's already at 15, oh, so there's the danger. Another steal on the line out. Knock Lost on, though. No. Oh, wow. Oh, but first knock on at the line out <laughs> by Pally. Oh, those 50-50 calls. All the forwards, I didn't touch it, sir. Oh, Big knocked scrum. on first to kick Pally at the line-out. Their line-out is just under a lot of pressure now. Just the cot set piece is starting to dominate. It's coming through in this last 20 minutes. The scrum's starting to get their ascendancy. The line-out putting pressure on the opposition throw. Cohen Masson, for mine, has really stepped up. It's got to be one of the best out there for Cotton yeah. this afternoon. Oh, him and Kamara yeah. are the, probably the two picks for Cottesloe this afternoon. If Kamara broke through backs the line just for gone a, try. a little bit quiet. Yeah. Pally backs have gone quite late and short. Hasn't had one of his robust, you know, bullocking runs. Just one carry. One straight carry. Make someone feel something. Hurt Kamara a little bit. Run straight at him. Here they go. Just going to look to milk a penalty here, I reckon. Yeah, they're not going to touch that ball, but Palmyra hanging on strong. They're going to get they called come. to use it. No, yeah, there it can't. comes, popping it straight up. They dug in well, but eventually they couldn't Ooh. hold on, Palmyra. Right. And we'll take the points here, surely. Extend the lead to a try at least. You have to. You have to take it to a, a try to in this it. game. It's going to be at least a couple, you know, minute and a half to take this kick. 
probably five or so minutes left in the game with extra time. They point to the sticks, take 90 seconds off the clock. That's what you're allotted. Now late short starts to ask the questions. It's a little bit late, Captain, to come in now. Needed to be doing all the heavy lifting like Hoskins in the first half. This is just chewing up more time. Yeah. Sam Jones is sort of wandering around out there. He's been distracted by Leighton Short. Ben Meredith just standing there with the tea in his hand. Happy to let the clock tick <laughs> over. As that clock is nearing the 40-minute mark on your screen, Ben Meredith put one over just moments ago from a very similar position. Wouldn't be surprised if he comes in and checks the way this is placed on the tee for a third time. No, he looks like he's set. 24 out, 20 in from the side. Should have this in the bag. Wind's died off, doesn't have to worry about much. To make it a five point margin. Good strike. I yeah, like it. runs back straight away. 19 plays 14 here in the Fortescue Premier Grade Grand Final for 2021. Wow, and Cottesloe have just ground away on this back end of this game. The forwards have stepped up. They're dominating the set piece. And Benny Meredith, hero or villain, he's getting some points for his team. Oh, and he just... Oh, <laughs> a few guys on borderline in front of the kicker there. Masson again. Again carries hard and strong. The three-peat looking ever more likely as this clock ticks down. Meredith sets himself in the pocket. Got to go long. Oh, Fakes it. Not a balk there. Gets away with it. Meredith shanks it, thinking about his conversion still. Don't touch that, ball boy. Oh, the ball boy Don't touch that. did a good job for Cott there by yeah. grabbing the ball before McGregor could grab it. McGregor could it. have just gone himself there. There wasn't enough chase. And I'll tell you what, I, if I was McGregor, I'd be looking for a quick line-out because this, this Pally line-out is under a lot of pressure at the moment. Jackson Pugh just having a bit of a chat to his lifters. It's going to the short, short numbers again. Five man. Just got to go front. Try beat him for pace up front. It'll be, it'll be few in the middle. I don't know why they're wasting so much time. Well, with secret calls, or I'll come have a chat to you, then they'll get it up. Oh, Yeah, it works. It works. Oh, yeah. on the ball quickly. Now they knew exactly how that would play out. I like it from Palmyra. You've lost faith in your line out, but eventually you get it free. Oh, Short, oh, lost, lost forward. O'Sullivan picks it up on the 40. This could seal the game off if they can turn it into something, but we've got to have a scrum and a chance at another penalty right in front of the sticks for Cottesloe. Okay. Execution, execution. I still would have liked Leighton Short to just carry the ball. Mm. You know, to carry from the front. That's what he's done so well all year long. And I know they were going to that wide channel, you know, for the first half and for the first 60 minutes. But now's the time of the game when Leighton Short could split them wide open straight through the middle. Kamara's had to do a lot of work today. Yeah. Um, I would love to see Leighton Short just truck one up right, at, right through the guts. Anyway, centre field scrum. Kyle Fell here on the right. Tommy Fipitavo, wouldn't he like to get a meat pie this afternoon? He hasn't had the best of games, but I reckon a try would back. <laughs> a try would forgive and forget everything. Look for the Hoskins to go 8-9. Yeah, oh. that's fair. That's fair. Straight out, lost his legs full grave. Completely lost his footing. It might be a slip, but it's still a penalty. Jeez. Two and a half. Vital. Two and a half Two and left half. on the clock. I just wonder how they lose their footing on their own feed without the opposition just pulling back slightly on the engagement. No, I think just it's just a slip. Balance. I just think it's a slip. It's unfortunate it's a penalty. Massive kick from Jack McGregor there. Here comes the chance. Five points takes us to extra time. Only two and a half left on the clock, so... Conversion would be vital. On, Pally. What are you doing? the back goes real long too over long not straight Cohen as well Masson. Masson feeds it up tries to bash over McGregor short comes in second man on the tackle now a chance for Edwards to spin it down this short side Meredith wants to get rid of it runs out of a little bit of room fakes back left then goes on the left boot instead this time what can't he do and a roll over into touch seconds off the clock geez he got away with that Benny Meredith <laughs> a little wobble one off the left Need to get this one in here, Palmyra. Grand final, slipping away. 
just need one big run. It could be short through the middle. Could be one of their fantastic try scorers through Miller out on the left wing here. Got to win the ball first. They do, oh. and they get it free. And Anapu will take it to the line. McGregor goes back door. Who else can they find? It's Andrew. Takes it up to the 40. They can still go short side with Manahira, oh. Eden, and Chris Miller. That's an awkward clean out. Trying to dice it up towards the line. Not much else on, though, there for Pew. Got to let him go. Space out wide. Going to have to carry short. Fires a big skip ball over the top. Cunningham, Manahira, Eden. Tries to get through oh, the line, he's but he's collared. grabbed by the collar. Up on the 22. Calls now there's a little tackle. bit of emotion starting to creep in. We know the clock's ticking down. Numbers out here Hoskins on the left. tries to strip it inside the tackle. Unsuccessful. Jones might call him off it now. Oh, no. no. Hoskins it turns it over for his team. Tobias Hoskins does really well as captain. And now that's pretty much going to spell the end of this game. Three-peat looming ever so closer. Oh, a little bit of time off. What, Adam Fulbright just grabbed someone from the collar. <laughs> and removed him from the ruck there. Oh, wow, that is a massive call. The Pally backs out here, they were screaming for it. Chris Miller, late and short. Had to come. Jackson Pugh, it had to come. And that Tobias, Tobias Hoskins rolled the dice and had to get in there to get the turnover. And he's called it full time. Benny Meredith's going to boot into the crowd. And Cotter's slow have got their three-peat. 2021 Premiers. They've come from behind to snaffle victory. We thought it was all gone for them after getting G'd up in the first half by Palmyra. But now you see them all storm the field. What an achievement for this club. What an achievement for Westerway and Hoskins going back to back to back in dramatic fashion year after year. This is a huge victory for the club and a sour taste in the Palmyra's mouth. They've gone 0-2 in the 2000s period against Cottesloe in grand finals, and it's going to hurt all night. Oh, Pally just lost their way in the last 20 minutes today. Their set piece failed them in the end after just going toe to toe for Cottesloe for the first 60 minutes and really bringing the physicality to it. And their backs were, were dynamic, but they just didn't capitalize on the on the ball that they had in that first half. They, they scored a couple of really nice tries, but you know, their, their line out and their scrum just left them in there in that last 20 minutes. And the Cottesloe bench really made a difference mm. you know guys like robin o'sullivan and the big fella uh Fotoa Toa really made a difference coming off the bench you know it, for mine kamara and Kawa masson were the two picks oh, yeah. of players for cottesloe the amount of work those two got under their belt was phenomenal and um you know the big skipper himself tobias hoskins he would have been loving it out there today and again he was just able to manage the referee really well but also just the back end of the game just to drive his team around the the paddock and just that exemplifies his leadership just getting that turnover at the end i mean and it's certainly not all sad down there for palmyra they've come so far they've cut back on the way they used to uh find players for the club and now you see all of these players they're so proud the 23 players came through the junior system to play first grade this year for them they made it all the way to the big dance no they didn't have the experience to get it across the line but they had star power and they will have star power for years to come yeah they just just probably lack that little bit of depth um, Reese Anapu was good for them this afternoon, mm. I thought. I thought Dylan Cunningham was tireless. He, did, he had a pretty good game. I thought Hendrik DeVette, as usual, just toils away. He's prepared to do the tough stuff. Jack McGregor was good. He had some clever kicks. He would try to be innovative in play. For mine, they probably underplayed their skipper late and short. They probably underplayed mm. his hand a little bit this afternoon. Um, and certainly out wide, Aaron, both Arendelle and Chris Miller had pretty strong games, in particular Arundel um, was good with the work off the ball. So, And Menehera Eden, deserving winner of the PG Hampshire Award. He's been in good form the last couple of seasons uh, and certainly he didn't put a foot wrong this afternoon. So thank you all for joining us down here. It has been a spectacular season, that is for sure. Your premiers for the Fortescue Premier Grade 2021. Cottesloe get their three-peat and they are going to be absolutely ecstatic this afternoon going in throughout the next week with their women's team that have won a grand final here as well today thank you all for joining us we'll see you all next season